Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress with Pixie Dust Tarot, and this is your daily dust for Thursday, May 11th, if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It's a timeless reading. I like to use a different deck every day, and this time I'm thinking of the Telema Tarot, which is a really beautiful deck. And of course, sometimes I have to repeat decks. We're just going to get a three-card collective message. This deck I edged in green because I like to do that. I always bless my cards when I get them and do a review on them. If you want to see all the different decks that I have, check out my playlist. All the flip-through reviews of my decks. A lot of times you'll see up here in the corner um, information on more information on the deck. Okay, let's get from the middle. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Interesting. And the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups came out yesterday for somebody <laughs> was at the Daily Dust moving away from something. All right, let's zoom in and see what we get. I love this deck. It was It was another inspiration for when I created my own deck. And um, each card has a little quote to it, so I think I will read it to you. Here the Seven of Pentacles is saying, The harvest is here, and I have to carefully pull only the ripest bits so the bush can continue to thrive and produce. So it's picking the right one is what I got always from this card, picking the right one. Somebody feels like they've chosen correctly. Um, and it's also uh, that added message, which I, I haven't considered in a while, that in order to make something thrive and grow, you have to prune away the things that are not. You know, it's kind of you have to remove the things that are not working. So in order to keep going, to keep increasing, um, it's, it's if you see a lot, if you see your world, whether it's career, love, or whatever, as kind of a plant, you know that it needs nutrients and sunlight and water. It needs all these things for it to grow, but there's some things that we sometimes forget, like pruning away the dead leaves and also adding fertilizer or making sure the soil is very rich. And um, so, so, some, so this could be like having a few details um, in order to, that you might have missed before, but now adding certain details to make something grow and flourish. Um, uh, uh, something that I used a lot when I had a garden, I used miracle Grow, and it seriously does grow your buds and blooms and flowers almost, well, at least twice the size as they might have been before, but they, they're very lush and full. So that's something that you can consider. Not that, you know, you can go out and get miracle Grow, but I'm talking about metaphorically, figuratively, um, there is that that magic that makes things grow even beyond your wildest dreams. So you have probably the practical image of how something can blossom and grow, just a very practical way. But something could 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 blossom and grow into a bigger, more bold, something more wonderful than you could ever imagine, more miraculous because of magic, because of this additional, it's, it's the pixie dust, it's the additional, Thing that the additional ingredient that really, really makes something blossom to its fullest very beautifully. So I feel like it's just a, an example of your life, like your career, your love life, or health, or anything else. There's a special ingredient here that will get you to the fullest aspect of what you are looking for. So this is definitely about the hard work you put into something and so there's kind of like sitting back and assessing and seeing what what you've done and seeing what else needs to be done so the six of swords is interesting because it looks like some travel here it looks like you are about to go on an, a journey of some sort you could be uh 
it doesn't have to be a physical journey, but it can be. It could be that you're, you're there's sort of a, this is about transition, and it kind of makes me think like there's a shift in your life happening here. So something, you've put in a lot of effort in something, something's come into full blossom. Also, the Seven of Pentacles represents divine timing. It's like the time is now, the time is at hand, and so now it seems sort of like the next chapter of your life is beginning. You're you're going through the gauntlet and you're headed to this new frontier. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's really exciting. It's like a very exciting second chapter or third or fourth chapter, whatever, however you want to see it. But it's it's another phase coming into your life, like the wrapping up of some old ties and things, trimming all the the dead ends and, and branches and then moving into this amazing new place. The Eight of Cups is not like the Five of Cups where there's sorrow. There may be a little nostalgia, but it's not sorrowful. It's it's it, it's like resolute. It's like, I'm doing this. I'm going to do this. This is it. You know, I'm going for it. And um, it may be a little quieter than maybe a maybe a chariot, which is a very bold, triumphant, da-da, I'm doing this, you know. But between the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups, it's kind of more of, a, okay, here I go upon this journey, this transition in my life. It's kind of a slow and steady move of floating across the w waters. If It may feel a little like a like a triathlon type thing where some of it is is one kind of movement and some of it some of it's by water some of it's by foot some you know what i'm saying it's just kind of this um to get to the these goals there there's different ways that you're going to be approach it along the way but uh, it's a very very good auspicious energy i think yeah the six of swords is um it's a little bit of, um, maybe a little bit of the unknown, but adapting to what lies ahead, you know? It, it's it's a newness, and it's a little unknown, but it's not a, not necessarily scary. It's nothing to, that's going to harm you. It's, it's just things that you will have to adapt to, that's all. It's something that you haven't done before, or something that you, um, maybe some, for students, it could represent tests and papers and things like that. Um, for other people, it could be uh, in your work, um, a new phase in your job and career. And, and love, it can represent uh, traveling maybe to meet somebody or or finding that one. So so the Eight of Cups is just ready to to find that missing link, okay? So maybe there is something here that you need and you have to go travel and journey to get it to complete the picture <laughs> um all of it is looking really good like this could be a particular day but it also feels like it feels like a big energy like a hint to something bigger and broader too like something about your life is really changing and things are moving into a certain direction on a particular, if it's just a mundane particular day kind of thing, it's just saying that you're starting off your day feeling like you've accomplished a lot, you're just trimming away some of that excess, and you're ready to travel, get on the road, or, or make some moves, or, or uh, try a different direction, or, you know, make a different transition. It's trans a transition phase. <laughs> anyway, so, and you're really going to do well in this transition phase. Because I like, with the Eight of Cups, is interesting. I I got this, did I, I don't even remember if it was the Daily Dust yesterday or if it was um, a private reading, but the Eight of Cups makes me feel like, like not getting overly attached, emotionally attached to the past, but kind of being Aquarian-like, where you are facing facing the future in sort of a, an emotional detached way not not you know not cold but um not letting the nostalgia of the past keep you in the past but looking forward to the future like the frontier like space the final frontier you know that that futuristic energy that aquarius gives me i just kind of see that a lot in the eight of cups ready to 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 boldly go where no man has gone before <laughs> kind of like that kind of energy so good for you and I hope you have a lovely day
Faith Chest and Pixie Dust. Thank you.